modern stress. Today we will have to discuss about the anatomy of the angiospermic glands and especially the internal structure of the dicot stem, that is the transverse section of the dicot stem. Today, in previous classes, we have discussed about the epidermis or epidermal tissue, muscular tissue, and in this particular lecture, we will discuss about the cortex also. But before that, there is certain topic, certain points about the vascular tissue also. Now, the element on the basis of the element of the protoxylum metal, the vascular tissues are of three types. One, that is in the arch. Second, that is exarch. And third one is the mesarch. The previous gyrum, the small gyrum, the first gyrum is called protogyrum. Proto means the xylem having small size and metaxylem the xylem having large size now on the basis of the arrangement of this metaxylem and protoxylem either towards center or towards periphery these three things we will have to discuss in the case of if you judge what happens suppose this one is the epidermis and this is the central part. If the protoxylum is towards periphery, it means like this, like this. It means protoxylum. Protoxylum towards periphery and metaxylum towards center, then this condition is called indarch condition. Sorry, exarch condition. This is called exarch condition. Now, the second point if the metaxylum is towards periphery. Between this one is the protoxylum and this one is the metaxylum. Then we can say that, that it is the indarch condition. And if the metaxylum and metaxylum both are towards periphery as well as center, and protoxylum is in between these two, then it is called mesarch condition. This is also the classification of the vascular bundle or the types of the vascular bundle on the basis of the element of the protoxylum. Now, we will have to discuss about the TS of the dicots. Why we study this TS of the dicot stem first? Because it is the complete structure. The first structure at the periphery, it has been observed that the epidermis is present. Just we have told you in previous lecture that the epidermal are epidermis are just as to as. There is no any intercellular space is present. So here you can say that the, this type of structure is present, having prominent nucleus. And in addition to this particular epidermis, there is a cuticular layer present above it. It is the cuticle. This one is the cuticle. And it is the epidermis. If any structure is present here, you will see that you can say that the there are multicellular 
hair like structure is present on it and if the hair is present on the epidermis and is multicellular then it is the hair of the dicotyledon if it is unicellular then it is the hair of the root dicotyledon monocot root but it is the difference if the hair like structure is present over the epidermis and if it is multicellular then it is the hair of the stem not the root inside it below this there are this type of is this type of tissue are present it is if the this space is filled then it is colon kinetus and it is called hypodermis hypodermis this is the cortex layer and below this uh, this type of structure is present it is also like this having starch grains having starch grains and it is called endodermis in between this endodermis and the hypodermis there is a cortex layer it is called endodermis and here you will see that this type of structure is present having well differentiated unis uh, in in between this is made up of the thin wall isodiametric cells it means it is a pattern kind of cell it is a pattern kind of cell the space is clearly demarcated here intercellular space is present here and this one is the now below this vascular bundle and there are certain uh, pericycle layer is also pericycle layer is also but just we will discuss firstly the vascular bundle then the pericycle suppose this one is the vascular it has been seen that certain scalene kinetus cells are present is with the present which provide mechanical assistance now in between these two again parent gametes cells parent gametes tissue parent gametes tissue are present here also but it is somewhat squeezed so it is somewhat elongated somewhat elongated and below this again the well differentiated parent gametes is this is called pith 
it is called medullary vein medullary vein now come to the vascular part as you know that the in vascular bundle the dicot stem in dicot stem the vascular bundle is like this this is cambium this is xylem and this one is phloem so it is open type of here is phloem this dot indicate that is phloem below this this can be on is a metastatic in nature so if such type of structure is present in the vascular bundle then it can participate in the secondary types these all structures are primary secondary growth are not all structures are now here you will see that the what type of xylem is present now we can study that in this case wait okay today uh, just we will have to study that the what type of vascular bundle is present here. you will see here that the phloem is present here xylem is present here and cambium is present here. it means it is open type not the closed type in closed type vascular bundle we have discussed previously that cambium is present here cambium is present and just i have told you that if the cambium ring is present or cambium is present it means they are they have capacity to divide their days their ring cells of the cambium have capacity to divide it means they are next to the cambium in case of the xylem the arrangement of the xylem it is a in arch condition so the such type of structure is this type of condition is and here the metaxylem and proboscis these are one of the characteristic feature of the ts of the dicot stem in this video we have studied that the in dicot stem the upper layer is cuticle upper most layer is the cuticle it is the multicellular layer and below that uh, single layered single layered system, that is the epidermis region which is compactly arranged there is no any intermediate space intercellular space is created we do that the hypodermis which is colon chymatis in nature so we have filled this the central part colon chymatis is a subunit and that is called hypodermis below the hypodermis the cortex is present of course the Uh, endodermis is the lower most part of the cortex hypodermis is the upper part of the cortex you can say so total you can say cortex but the this particular main the main part which is called uh, parenchymatous cortex now below that the endodermis is present one of the significant characteristic feature of the endodermis of the dicot stem is that the starchy grains are present we will discuss in the uh, endodermis of root then we will see that uh, such type of casparian strips are present but this casparian strips are not present in the dicot stem so this one is the endodermis of the dicot stem it is one of the important 
we just uh, we have told you that the it is one of the important that the if the multicellular hair is present then it is the characteristic feature of the diapod stem if the starch grains are present in the endodermis it is also the characteristic feature of the diapod stem below this particular has three things one the collar parenchymatous Scleroduchymatous and the vascular. This parenchyma, this parenchymatous, have two types of the structure. You will see here that one is the squeezed structure in between the vascular bundle, another is the prominent. So this this is called this type. This is called the medullary ray, and this one is called pith. Now here, just if you will draw that the diagram here, then you can see that the Cambium is present here. Cambium is present here. Phloem is present here. It is the phloem having this type of dotted structures. It is the phloem. This type of dotted structures. And the xylem is present, which is just in the arching nature. Proposal: metaxylem, proposal: metaxylem, metaxylem, proposal: metaxylem. This is the all about the. Study of the TS of the diapod stem. Now we will discuss in next video about the study TS of the monopod stem or the root and the secondary root of the diapod stem.